Hi, this is Larry. What I want to talk to you today is about how to uh, create uh, simple uh, queries for multiple tables. You know, I'm just going to show you how we can utilize the syntax that you currently understand uh, and be able to do one, uh, two or more different tables and being able to join them together with a common uh, simple syntax. Uh, this is also known as the implicit syntax for the inner join because what we're doing here is doing a simple inner join between tables, meaning that the tables themselves share a common field. And so therefore we're going to be joining the tables, be able to collect the data based upon the common fields that they have. All right, so that's where we're going to begin. That's what we're going to cover today. Uh, to start out with, one of the things you should be understanding is the complexity of the database itself. For this example, I'm going to be utilizing the uh, uh, the uh, database uh, for uh, the product orders. It's a sample one that comes with the system. And if you go inside here, you can see the different tables right away here. Uh, we have customers, items, order details, and orders. The thing to keep in mind is that even if you have an order, it's not one table for an order uh, because you'd have a lot of redundant data, you'd have a lot of duplication like that, redundancy, and also it doesn't provide for file independence, all right, or data independence, excuse me, not file independence, but data independence. So what we have is that you're going to see is that for every order, you may have such things as you have the order itself, the customers that were ordering it, the details of the order, meaning what items were ordered, I mean, what specific details there are, and then there's the items that themselves, the descriptions and stuff that are regarded the items or products in some cases. So you can see you may have something for orders, you may have... For just an order, you may have four or five or six or seven or eight or different tables that you have to use. That's why what you're going to end up having to do is do a lot of uh, complex, more than one table queries. All right. So if we look at this here, if we look into customers, we can see what type of uh, columns are inside of here. Uh, there's the ID, which is the PK. It's automatically generated. But then you have the names, address, etc. And then inside the... Uh, orders itself over here is that you have order ID, customer ID. Now, do you see any similarity between these two tables at all? Well, the common thing is orders ID here, right? The customer ID, excuse me, the customer ID, excuse me, are the same between both of these. So for the order table, you have a customer ID in there. This should be declared as the foreign key, meaning that the foreign key, it represents the pr primary key in another table. Uh, this is where foreign keys come very important. It's something that you have to learn and understand that a full, uh, the full power of a foreign key. All right. And so, so when you look at this, you can see right away these two columns, these two tables have a shared column. Right. So therefore, we should be able to write a uh, select statement that is going to be able to pull data from both of those tables to create something we want to do. So to get started, we'd write a new query. We just hit the new query button, okay? And with this new query button, uh, we want to select the database we want to use to start. In this case, we're going to use product orders, all right? And let's just start a new query here. So what we want to do is select, uh, for this query, what we want to do is select uh, and find out uh, for the orders, uh, how many, what the orders are, the order date, and the zip code. We want to basically itemize this and order it by zip code. So we want to know how many uh, things were placed within his order within a zip code and also some, give some date reference. So basically we want to find the orders that have been placed by zip code, all right? And then the order date with it. So what we're going to first to do is we're going to hit select, oh, got to get over the screen, select, come on Larry, Select, select, and we want to do order ID, right? And we're going to do order date, and we're going to do, um, we want to know the zip code. So that's going to be called from the customer table, and that's going to be, I think it's called cus zip, okay? And then we, where do we want to get this from? Well, there are two tables we get this from. This is going to be the orders table and the customers table, okay? And you see what I had way as soon as I put the two tables in now, instead of just having one table, since these were all from different tables, you're gonna see here, I, as soon as I put the tables in, uh, SQL server, the automated checked out, checking your code, and says, oh, it works, 
all right? So we've just said that, and we've ordered from these. Now, what the big point here is that unless you go in and declare what columns you're going to put in, as far as relying to each other, you're going to get a lot of bad data. It's just going to come out and select all that data from there. What you want to do is correlate things to make sure that you're getting the correct numbers I mean, from the, from, the, from, from the columns, okay? So we're going to say what you need in here every time you do, anytime you do an inner join, basically what you're going to be doing is looking for the common columns between there and align them up in a where statement, in this case, a where statement. You can use a join statement also, and joins overall in the long term are good to know and understand in practice because you may have more than an inner join. But inner joins are pretty, are pretty much standard in what you're going to be doing mostly. And it's good to see it in this manner because most of you probably only did select statements on one table already. So in this case here, we want to join the two tables together. So we're going to know we need to do orders where orders dot uh, cust ID, right? Oh, or, or it's orders, not order, orders dot cust ID, right? And then we're going to go equals, we're going to go equals to customers dot cust ID. And so what we've done here is very simply just say select these columns from the orders and customers tables, but we're going to match up where the customer ID equals the customer ID in both of them. If the foreign key has been set up correctly, you're going to find that you're going to get the data accurately between these two tables uh, because of that relationship. Now, what I want to also do is just an order by. In this case, we're going to go order by um, customer zip. And we're also going to do order date, just to show you we can do this. But we can do it from both tables here, semicolon. So we have a nice little query here. And let's run this right away and see, execute this and see what comes up. And as you can see here, we already have the order, the information coming up pretty quickly. And uh, scroll through it. There's a lot of orders in here that meet this criteria. And if you notice for every customer then, like in this customer, the zip code, for the zip code, excuse me, you notice here there's two different orders that were placed, okay, within the zip code, okay, and different days. So you can pull patterns and data right from this, this bunch of data you have. You could probably gather some information. But if you can see some, like this zip code is more active than the other one. So anyways, data provides you to be able to develop some information. But what I want to show you is that you can go in there and simply do this with two tables or more using in for an inner join. This is probably the type where you're going to be utilizing more, more and more, okay, more often than not. So let's just go in here there now, and uh, let's take a look at doing another query with more than two tables, okay? And let me see, I got it saved over here, and I'll pop it in here. So in this case here, let's just read through this. I'm selecting the order date, item, D, item ID, quantity, customer first name, customer last name. So basically, I'm looking for the first and last name of people, and I wanted to find out what item they ordered by item ID without the description, and then the quantity they ordered, so I can get some kind of data on the customer. But I'm going to need to take this from three different tables. Because you look here, we're going to take from the orders table, we're going to take from the order details table, and we're going to take from the customers table. Because the customers table is what has customer first name and last name. The orders table is what the guiding point is. We want to know where the order date is. And then order details is such as item ID and the quantity come from the order details. So we need to have all three of those tables put together. And we're going to interjoin them. So we're going to mention the three in the front tables in there. But key here is this. For every relationship you need to identify, you're going to need to identify the different types of where the columns are supposed to be connected. In this case, we know we have to go to order and get the order ID to equal order ID details and order details. We also know we have to go in orders and then detail the customer ID with a customer's table. All right, so understand every time, every time you want to do multiple tables, okay, you're going to have to do where statements that match up the different foreign keys or the tables that are common to each other to make this work. In this case, this last one, I'm ordering by customer last name. So let's just execute this. And it comes out on the bottom here. 
And you can see we get this data right here. So we can see the customers. There's Bailey. There's Blanca's got a lot of orders. Chadix one. You can go in through Jacobson has a lot to order. All right. And we can go through here and find this information. Okay. So that just gives you an example of how to do this for multiple tables with an inner join, which is the most common way you're going to be doing things. Uh, technically, if you're not doing an inner join, you're going to be looking for other types of joins and relationships uh, that get much more complex. Uh, and I wanted to show you here how to do it with the simple select statement that you've been used to doing.